ಬಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೋ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೂನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಸ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸಹಗಣ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ಓಂ ಆಜ್ಞಾನತಿಮಿರಾಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರೋನ್ಮಿಲಿತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಗೂರ್ವಭೀಷ್ಟಪೂರಕ ಗುರುಗಣರಾಶೀಷ ಸಂಭೂಷಿತ ಚಿಂತಾಚಿಂತ ಸಮಸ್ತ ವೇದ ನಿಪುಣ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪಂಥಾನುಗಂ ಗೋವಿಂದಿದ ಉಜ್ವಲ ವರ್ತನ ಭಕ್ತಿಯನ್ವಿತ ಸುಂದರ ವಂದೇ ವಿಶ್ವಗುರು ದಿವ್ಯ ಭಗವತ್ ಪ್ರೇಮೋ ಹಿ ಬೀಜಪ್ರದ ದೇವ ದಿವ್ಯತನ ಸುಚಂದ್ರವದನ ಬಾಲಾರ್ಕಚೇಲಾಂಚಿತ ಸಾಂದ್ರಾನಂದಪೂರ ಸದೇಕವರ್ಣ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯವಿದ್ಯಾಂಬುಧಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತನಿಧಿ ಸುಭಕ್ತಿಲಸಿತ ಸಾರಸ್ವತರ ವಂದೇ ತಂ ಶುಭದ ಮದೇಕಶರಣ ನ್ಯಾಸೀಶ್ವರ ಶ್ರೀಧರ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತೀತಿ ವಿದಿತ ಗೌರೀಯ ಗುರುವನ್ವಯೇ ಭಾತ ಭಾನುರಿವ ಪ್ರಭಾತ ಗಗನೆ ಗೌರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಮಾಯಾವಾದತಿಂಗಿಲೋದರಗತಾನುಧೃತ್ಯ ಜೀವಾನಿ ಮಾನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಸುಧಾಬ್ದಿ ಗಾಹನ ಸುಖ ಪ್ರದಾತ ಪ್ರಭು ತಂ ಭಜೇ ನಮೋ ಗೌರಕಿಶೋರಾಯ ಭಕ್ತವಧೂತಮೂರ್ತ ಗೌರಾಂಘ್ರ ಪದ್ಮಭೃಂಗಾಯ ರಾಧಾಭಾವನಿಷೇವಿನೇ ವಂದೇ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿನೋದ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌರಶಕ್ತಿಸ್ವರೂಪಕ ಭಕ್ತಿಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಜ್ಞ ಸಂರಾಜ ರಾಧಾರಸ ಸುಧಾನಿಧಿ ಗೌರವ್ರಜಾಶಿತೈರವೈಷ್ಣವೈರವಂದ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ಪ್ರೇಮಾಬ್ಧ ವೃದ್ಧವೈಷ್ಣವ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರೂಭಯಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭೈವ ಪತೀತ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಪಂಚತತ್ವಾತ್ಮಕ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತರೂಪಸ್ವರೂಪಕ ಭಕ್ತಾವತಾರ ಭಕ್ತಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಮಿ ಭಕ್ತಶಕ್ತಿ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವದಾನ್ನಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮಿನಿ ಗೌರತ್ಷೇ ನಮ ದಂಡೋತ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾರ್ದಿಕ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಥ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಫ್ರೈಡೇ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಸಂಘ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಲಿಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಲಿಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮಾನ್ ದಂಡೋತ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಪಾದ ಅರುಣ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಂಡೋತ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಪಾದ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದೇವ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ so we are reading from uh, the golden volcano of divine love uh we are on page 189 189 ಐ ನಂದ ತನುಜ ಕಿಂಕರಂ ಪತಿ ವಿಷಮೆ ಭವಾಂ ಬುಧೌ ಕೃಪಾ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಧೂಲಿ ಸದೃಶ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅರುಣ್ ಪ್ರಭು because of my own karma i have fallen into this terrible ocean of birth and death accept this fallen soul and consider me a particle of dust at your holy lotus feet illumination here sri chaitanya mahaprabhu prays oh lord please consider me i want to enter into the realm of your merciful glance I do not know how to take proper care of myself and so I invite your care please accept me and give me entrance you are my guardian i want to live under your protection and who is he we hear of different conceptions of god but here we have come to a beautiful conception of god krishna the son of nand maharaj this is found only in vrindavan 
great spiritual scholar, Raghupati Upadhyay, once met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu near Mathura. There they had a discussion and Mahaprabhu asked him, whom do we want to have as our master? Who is the final goal of our life? Raghupati Upadhyay answered, Shutim apare smritim mithare bharatam manne bhajantau bhavita aham yahanandam mande yasya linde param brahma Those who fear rebirth in this world may follow the advice of the Vedic scriptures. Others may follow the Mahabharata. But as for me, I follow Nanda Maharaj. In those courtyards, the Supreme Absolute Truth plays as a child. Prabhuji, I'd like to take a pause here because this one paragraph clarifies I wish I had read it and people had told me. Because this clearly tells uh, an ab initio person or even an experienced person, you know, what is your intention? And what is the position of Vedic scriptures? When do you want to follow that? Uh, and, you know, what is your desire? And at least people everywhere talk about, you know, this and that and Vedic scriptures and this rule and that rule. But really, one needs to pull oneself up and say, those who fear rebirth in the world or those who want to continue to enjoy in this sansar, they may follow the advice of Vedic scripture because even in the mode of enjoyment, Vedic scriptures properly guide. Okay, this is what you can do. And I think this is a very fundamental understanding that people of the Indian backgrounds especially need to understand. And uh, of course, it's much more higher to say, you know, other the Mahabharata, uh, where Krishna is playing the Mahabharata, uh, you know, it's rolling out. But uh, here, Raghupati Upadhyay says so beautifully, I follow Nand Maharaj in whose courtyard the absolute truth plays as a child. That is the relationship, that is the connection. Uh, that uh, Guru Varg and Himan Mahaprabhu is really advising. I, I thought this was my feeling in terms of understanding this particular paragraph, which is so powerful and so clear. Hare Krishna. Thank you, uh, Arun Prabhu. Chinmadev Prabhu, any comments? Well, I think in this verse you can see the difference here between uh, what is what the brain can understand, what logic can understand, and what heart can understand. Because the Ved, they're saying if you, the Vedic scriptures are easy to follow because I mean easy, because your brain can understand them. Oh, is this rule? I understand this rule. I can follow this rule. And then Raghupati Raghupati is saying, yes, but what I'm trying to follow is my heart. And that is much more complicated, actually. I mean, in some ways it is simpler, but to get in touch with that is, can be much more difficult. That's right. Oh, wonderful, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Uh, I think what you just said, Chenma uh, Prabhu, is very, very important because when, when a body is born, then really the sense objects drive the brain and the adaptation and accommodation, you know, here is the thing and you can play here. And the materialistic approach, and that's what we see in today's world, thinks what the brain sees is, is end all for all reality there is. Yet people do not ask the question, what is it that the brain is looking forward to? It is love, affection, and enjoyment, really. And love, affection, and enjoyment is not coming from the material objects or the brain. 
And so what you what you just mentioned, Chenmay Prabhu, is very, very important, which is if one can move the consciousness or the thought process to open up more, one will ask this question, what am I asking? What am I seeking? It is what I'm seeking is my heart's content. Yeah. And not many people are able to even come to this this understanding. Beautiful. In the system of Varnashram Dharma, Vedic social duty, the people in general are under the guidance of the Smriti, Vedic law. In this way, they are engaged in bodily duty, duties with a color of godliness. Those who are free from physical demands, however, who are trying to transcend this life of enjoyment and exploitation generally take their guidance from the Upanishads because higher advice is given there. Raghupati Upadhyaya says, I don't care for all these things, but I feel a need to follow the guidance of my heart. I am not so much concerned with the brain. I consider that real peace has its connection with the heart. And my heart is always attracted to Krishna's father, Nanda. Krishna is said by authority, authorities to be the supreme absolute truth. And that absolute is falling in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj. So I see concrete reality there. Prabhuji, I'd like to stop so take a pause here and just share with you my ignorance for so <laughs> many days. <laughs> um, Prabhuji, in our scriptures, the word param sati is mentioned, which is absolute truth. Right? And becoming an adult at the age of 18 and still being a donkey for many decades, <laughs> the Paramsatya never never came up to understand. In fact, it is a kind of an abstract um, conception that comes to the to the mind to say, what is it that these scriptures are talking about as, as Paramsatya? Right? It's only with the instruction of our Gurudev and the Guru world and the senior rationals. At least now I understand. Param Sat is, as we know, Sat is something that is uh, eternally maintaining the substance. Something that is not an illusion, something that is not a um, yeah, illusion, which is in reality is something but is appearing to you differently. Because what is an illusion is has got a beginning and an end. And and you know that is when you get into illusion. And so the sati is that substance that is eternal, that is the true nature of reality, the true nature of the higher conception. That is Paramsat. And it's only with mercies of association with you and, and Gurudev and so on, we get to know when we when the word param satya or absolute truth comes, then we know, okay, that reality that is driving this Govinda Govinda for existence that is Krishna, <laughs> sweet Krishna. Yes, that is param satya. Prabhuji, Hare to come Krishna. to this point has taken me all this life. But I tell you what, Arun Prabhu, isn't it worth it now? <laughs> Absolutely. <Right. laughs> Hare yeah. Krishna. I would also like to mention, because uh, we're told in the, in the Vedas that this world is a perverse reflection of the spiritual world. And in this, this last paragraph, you see that because in this world, logic, the brain, that's concrete. And the heart is fickle, abstract. But in that world, it's flipped. The brain and logic have no concrete position, but it's all heart, which is concrete reality, as he as he calls it, concrete reality. Yes, please continue. 
How has Nanda attracted the supreme absolute truth? In the Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto, chapter 8, verse 46, the devoted king, Parikshit Maharaj, asked the boy saint, Sukhadev Goswami, Nanda Kim Akarod Brahman Sreya Evam Mahodayam Yashoda Cha Mahabhaga Papa Yashahas Tanam Hari O knower of Brahman, always merged in the exclusive conscious world, no trace of any mundane objective reference can be found in you. For you are always engaged in this subjective world of spirit. Never in your consciousness. Never is your. Around, never. Never is your consciousness. Or never is your consciousness thrown around towards this objective world of ours. And you say that Krishna, the supreme absolute truth. And you say that Krishna is the supreme absolute truth. I ask one question to you, my master. What duty did Nanda discharge? What sort of realization did Nanda have that the absolute truth is so intimate with him that he appears as Nanda's son and crawls about in his courtyard? He seemed to be under Nanda's clutches. What is this? This is the most wonderful thing. Is it possible? The supreme substance suckles her breast. The yogis, the rishis, the great scholars and penance makers say that they sometimes have a rare peek into their object of aspiration and realization. I got it. I got it. Apadhyay. Continue. And then they come back suddenly. They can't keep their, their attention in that plane for a long period of time. How is it possible that the supreme substance sits on the laps of Yashoda and sucks her breasts? If such things are real, if it is at all possible, then why should I not be attracted by that method by which I can have so much intimacy with the highest entity? Then with Anil Prabhu. Namaskar Anil Prabhu, welcome. Hare Krishna. In his prayer, Raghupati Upadhyay expresses a similar view. He says, I don't want to be entangled in the subtle discussions. Sorry. He says, I don't want to be entangled in the subtle discussion and analysis of the scriptures. I just want to surrender myself to Nanda and his party. I want to enlist my name in this group where Nanda is the master guide. In the group. In the group where Nanda is the master guide. I want to enlist my name in the group where Nanda is the master guide. By the exercise of energy, karma, we can attain a good destination. Without faith in the achievements of karma, we may try for salvation by raising our consciousness, jnana. But if we inquire into the solution of the life, with the help of the experts of that higher spiritual realm, like Nanda and his party, we can enter into the land of love and dedication. Prabhuji, I'd like to just make an observation. Uh, I am a very late entrant into Krishna consciousness, and I see a lot of devotees in our mutt and they are very high elevated devotees and, and all of them have have this vision and a desire to reach this this aspiration that is being said about i'm still at the footsteps but i can only realize how high those devotees are 
because their sight is set. They are at a position where they can see the sight. Uh, what uh, uh, Raghupati Upadhyaya is mentioned to be in the party in the past times of, of Sri Krishna, Sri Param Satya. Very, very blissful to be in that association. Anilji, could you, do you mind um, muting your mic? I think there is some rustling sound. Perfect. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice that I am not on mute, right? Sorry, sir. Oh, yeah, I'm no problem. No, no worries. My faith, my common sense about religion tells me that if I see that scripture, I'm sorry. My faith, my common sense about religion tells me that if I see that absolute truth who is so rare and find him real, concrete and intimate, appealing directly to my heart, then why should I engage myself in wild goose chasing? I shall appeal directly to the object of my search. If someone tells me that a hawk has snatched my ear, should I chase that hawk without first touching my ear to see if it is still there? <laughs> if I can have the absolute truth so intimately, why should I allow myself to run hither and thither? If I find that absolute truth has kindly come with all his charm, and that his charm is not a secret, and many personages are being attracted by him, then should I run after the phantasmagoria, phantasmagoria. phantasmagoria of the meditationist and the abstractionist and the renunciationist? Never. It is common sense. The straight understanding is given by the authorities that Krishna, the son of Nanda, is supreme. So when we have come up with that standard, then we can ask, O oh, son of Nanda, Krishna, king of the country of love, I appeal for your affection. I am your servant. I feel within myself that I have some connection with you. I am subordinate to you, but somehow I am in adverse circumstances. I feel that there are so many enemies within me that are trying to take me away from you, that I can't give my attention to you all the time. At the same time, I feel from the inner plane of my heart that you are my master. You are all in all to me. My heart won't be satisfied without your companionship. So I appeal to you. I am under unfavorable circumstances. I am suffering and without your grace, I don't find any means of relief from my present imprisoned position. So in, in this particular section, Prabhuji, I mean, it's, it's, we know that some people claim they are very realized, they are jnanis, this and that. And, and all the experience that they have is, you know, I had this vision of this bright light, I had this vision of enlightenment. But then they are not able to be situated there. It's a fleeting vision that just goes away. And that's what is being said here. Oh, but so that means their their realization, their their achievement uh, is is really in a, in a, a temporary expression of their of their accomplishment. The reality is that that stays, um, and the reality is also that that gives the mercy to to show itself to you, and not that you are trying to chase and and see him. Uh, so,
what what is also very important here is that in these few last paragraphs what is very clearly being said is uh, we are looking at param sat and that we just want to be somewhere have some association be a part of this is leela that means we are submitting ourselves to be part of his leela so he is purush and we are for him and most of the people are unwilling to even concede to this idea <laughs> that i am not purush i'm not into it purush is that param satya and so that i can have association with the purush is very clear who do you need to be <laughs> you need to be on the part of on the party of of shrimati radha rani hare krishna so uh, so our appeal must be should be oh lord how can i be in your party what can i do so that i can serve you and and enhance your your uh, your desire and fulfill your desire that is the mode of surrender because and this mode also because you are you are associating with the param sat hari krishna uh, there is nothing lost you get much more than pretending to be a purush because the desire to be a purush is what is binding us to the material life and people don't understand that and as you have mentioned this jaram prabhu so many times it was very enlightening to me that in this material world though our intrinsic position is feminine but whether there is a male or a female in this material world they are all wanting to be purush <laughs> hare krishna you caught that jai Arun Prabhu, I am the junior most in all this in this entire group. That's why. <laughs> Hare But, Krishna. I mean, how much sat there is? I mean, to me, if I can only get a drop of few sat like this, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. Oh. Oh. You know, we would be <laughs> we would have progressed. No, be you know, spend this life in a more substantial way. <laughs> so the the eternal position the param satya is that param satya is krishna we are just in a microscopic of a microscopic appliances that we are coming to and the other part of the param satya is that you are feminine and that you are the eternal servant that needs to be understood and people know that krishna is purush people forget to understand that we need to now act as per you know that entity that is under the control or wanting to surrender to that purush and so this nanavatana anand prabhu the next section is the soul like a ray of sun Here it is said, and I feel that I am not eternally connected with you. If it were so, then this separation would have been impossible. Unlike an avatar, I am not your plenary portion. Other incarnations of the Supreme Lord are plenary expansions of Him. Shwans, the ones. but the jeev is a partial representation of his potency vibhinnam vibhinnam ansh vibhinnam ansh vibhinnam ansh in bhagavad gita krishna says that the living entities are his eternal part and parcel the soul comes from marginal potency कृष्णेर तटस्थ शक्ति भेद अभेद 
prakasha. And the soul is an atomic fragmental part of the Lord's potency, like a ray of the sun. But here the devotee prays, I am not part and parcel of your own body. I am not even a ray, but my representation is nearer to that of a particle of sand, a particle of dust, not even a particle of the ray coming out of the luster of your body. In this way, Sriman Mahaprabhu is representing on our behalf that our petition must be of this type. I cannot indulge myself in thinking that I possess such fortune that I may be considered an inseparable part of you. I am a separable part, but I also want your grace. Please be kind upon me. I invoke your mercy for a special grant. Accept me in any position in your connection, even the lowest position. At least this must be sanctioned. Consider me a particle of dust at your feet. This is my prayer. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shila Bhakti Raksak Sri Dardi Ogosan Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shila Bhakti Sundar Govind Dardi Ogosan Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shri Pad Arun Krishna Prabhu Ki Jai Prabhu all the devotees here online Prabhu. <laughs> I am nobody. <laughs> very nice, very nice hearing from you and Chinmay Dev Prabhu. And uh, please continue to bless us with your association as we go through this. We don't have any um, adhikar to any of this by causeless mercy of Guru Dev. We are being able to access these higher uh, things and you know somehow as a distant dream think of joining like you were saying the leela uh, vastu siddhi <laughs> so mm-hmm. at least a distant dream we c- I, I can you know have that so, yes, Anil Go ahead, Anil So, you know, I was having an impression that the only thing which we need, which is for foremost importance, is to surrender, right? But this discussion has added uh, additional uh, knowledge to it that you have, you should try or aim to surrender uh, as a team of Radharani, right? That is a deeper vision. So. Initially, we will not be able to surrender, like, simply, you know, in a straightforward sense. Um, So, we are to approach, um, you know, through a spiritual master or um, some devotee like that, who we can trust and who can show us the way so that we can develop higher vision uh, and help us to be situated on the progressive path of immortality. So for that directly trying to surrender to Lord Krishna or Srimati Radharani and ignoring all the rest of the entourage is not uh, recommended. That's all I can say because if someone has in another process I don't know of, I can neither confirm or deny. But the standard process that we are, uh, that our uh, teachers have shared, and time and time again we have testimonials to that process as far as the efficacy. Um, of uh, the process. So, based on that, then we must go, like we say, proper channel, 
or the parampara system. So, for example, Arun Krishna Prabhu, he is my senior god brother. So we actually did receive diksha uh, from Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj. And by his grace, by that connection, then uh, we are able to, um, you know, be somehow situated on this path. We may, I may be right now below surface. You know, I'm a wretched householder and um, I'm pursuing, you know, various different things that I have to but that doesn't mean that I don't have an ideal the power of or the the, the recognition of the substance of a person is by his ideal what is your ideal and how do you pursue it how much you're given to that not necessarily where you're situated that's not uh, something that I should be conscious of that is not my uh, consciousness. Where am I situated? I don't know. I don't want to know. But the, the start of this is to get a connection from a substantial personality, like Srila Govinda Maharaj. In my, in my vision, uh, I'm not saying that's absolute, there may be others, but I can only say about my line. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Prabhuji, uh, if I can add to that, I think, um, I think one of the question, one aspect of the question Anandji raised was, so in which party are we? And you have so beautifully answered at the PhD level. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, essentially, and so, uh, Analji, yes, we want to be in the servitor part, which is the, think about it, Purush and Prakriti part. No, it's one way, but, but really, instead of being in the party of Radharani, it's really what we need to do is we want to learn we need to be even qualified to reach to be in the party of Radharani because she has her own sakis. And so what we aspire our guru work have said is we want to be the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of Srimati Radharani. So yes, in one aspect what you asked is true. We are in the army of but we are not the generals. All that we are saying is, we are, we are wishing to be just the, the servant of the servant of the generals. You know, just foot soldiers, or just helping the foot soldiers. And our sampraday, thus, is coming from the party of Srimati Radharani as served by Rupa Manjari. That is what our guru work says. Rupa Manjaris are those uh, those uh, sadikas who are young girls at the party of serving Sri Sri Radha Krishna. And being Rupa Manjari gives access to their pastime that other gopis do not have access. That is the important aspect. The Manjaris can serve the divine couple where other gopis cannot. And our work is uh, is coming from or are the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of the Rupa Manjari. And in the pastimes of Sriman Mahaprabhu, uh, Sri the Rup Sanatan, Sri Rupa Goswami, he is the uh, he is the incarnation of Rupa Manjari in the pastimes. Of Sriman Mahaprabhu. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jayanta. 
Oh, please go and, on. And thus, and thus uh, our connection and being in the party is really coming from the servant of the servant of the servant of Rupa Sanatan. That, and that is where we have a direct connection from there to our Guru work all the way up to Govind Maharaj. So yes, uh, what you say is true. We want to be in that, and and the way we join this party of Shrimati Radharani is have that connection with somebody who is a bona fide servitor, who is a bona fide person in that party of Shrimati Radharani. Yes, that's my submission. Chinmoy Prabhu. Well, I just heard uh, Shri talk about the example of Mirabai. I think you know this this woman who was considered a great saint, and she was a she considered herself a directly a servitor of Krishna. Like nothing is her and Krishna, and Shri rejected this as as any type of Gaudiya Vaishnavism philosophy, and. He said, you cannot really appreciate appreciate Krishna unless you consider his devotees and his paraphernalia. And then he continued to say that, in fact, the Jiva soul cannot have a direct connection with Krishna. It is through the servitors of Krishna that you can have that connection. And that is that is who we are, servitors of Krishna. And so our connection will go through that. And the highest servitor, of course, it's Srimatha Radharani. Right. Thank you, Thank you for reminding us. Yeah. Very nice. Beautiful. I really want to thank you all for um, giving me this nectar today. Thank you so much. And give me a second. Let me see if someone is around. I'll be right back. Hello to everybody. Monica is coming. Baja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Baja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adaita Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Sri Adaita Gadadhara Sri Vaishwadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hari Harayana Krishna Yadavayana Maha Hari Harayana Krishna Yadavayana Maha Yadavayana Madavayana Maha Gopal Govindaram Shri Madhusudan Gopal Govindaram Shri Madhusudan Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Gadadhara Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Gadadhara Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda 
जय रूपा सनातन भट्टा रघुनाथ जय रूपा सनातन भट्ट रघुनाथ श्री जी भगोपाल भट्ट दास रघुनाथ श्री जी भगोपाल भट्ट दास रघुनाथ वंदन शाई शाई करी जा होते नाश अभिष्ट पुराण जा होते गोसाई जार मुई तारा दास बारा पादा रेणु मोरा पंचा ग्रास तांडेर चरण से भी भक्ता सने बास जना में जना में मोरा अभिलाष इच्छाए गोसाए जबे ब्रज कोयला बास श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण नित्या लीला को रीला प्रकाश आनंद बोलो हरि भज वृंदाबान श्री गुरु वैष्णव पाद मजयमान श्री गुरु वैष्णव पाद पद्मा कोरियास हरि नाम संकीर्तन को हे नोता मदास हरि हराय नम कृष्ण यादव आय नम यादव आय माधव आय केशवाय नम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे हरे निताय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल जय जय गुरुदेव 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 जय जय गुरुदेव जय गौरंग सुंदर 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 जय अनेका जी प्लीज जय साफ्रिका श्री श्री गुरु गंग गंधवार गोविंद सुंदर गिरिधर गोपीलाल जी की जय
Jo, jo, myšku pak mám třeba podle večer trávali a se se nesateši, že má dva tý co nejdejku se jim hrát v tý čas. Jo, jo, myšku pak mám třeba podle večer trávali a se se nesateši, že má dva tý tak se nejdejku se jim hrát v tý čas. Jo, jo, myšku pak mám třeba podle večer trávali a se se nesateši, že má dva tý se na to zvlastně typu v tý čas. Jo. Já jo, my jsme páčilo, bylo třeba zaspěl, že máš rádičký džaj. Já jo, my jsme páčilo, jak čačí na debatínu, zase kultý džaj. Já jo, my jsme páčilo, já jo, my jsme páčilo, že máš zaspěl, že máš rádičký džaj. Já jo. Já jo, pěnou gogo vrdo tý džaj. Já jo. Nemá čaši lehrý zase kultý džaj. Já jo. A nám to kultý veš na vinde tý džaj. Já jo. Shrivel Deva Vidhi Bhushan Ki Jai Shrivel Deva Vidhi Bhushan Ki Jai Shrivel Vishwanath Rakhra Devu Ki Jai Shrivel Dhamma Shamanda Shrinivata Sharapu Ki Jai Shrivel Vindavanda Stukur Ki Jai Shrivel Krishna Das Kabiraj Ki Jai Saprasada Shaman Shri Nathya Nanda Prabhu Ki Jai Jai Saprasada Shri Nanda Mahaprabhu Mahaprabhu Ki Jai 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 Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gop Gopi Nath Sham Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govardhan Ki Jai Jai Shri Lakshmi Varudeva Ki Jai Jai Sudh Bhakti Vingna Manasha Shri Narasimha Deva Ki Jai Jai Bhakta Prabhupad Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Tosi Maharani Ki Jai Jai Langa Dhimna Ji Ki Jai Jai Granta Radha Shrin Bhagavatam Chaitanya Saratamrata Ki Jai Jai Vishwa Vaishnava Raja Sabha Ki Jai Jai Akratma Raja Shri Chaitanya Mat Ki Jai Jai Tadi Saka Mat Ki Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai Jai Vishwa Pabya Tadi Saka Mat Ki Jai Shri Dhamarapur Ki Jai Jai Shri Dhamnabhadi Ki Jai Jai Vindavan Prasutam Dham Ki Jai Jai Mbala Deva Zubhadra Jungla Ji Ki Jai Jai Shri Govinda Kunda Ki Jai Jai Shri Shri Shiva Gangra Ji U Ki Jai Jai Samaveta Vaishnava Mandu Ki Jai Jai Samaveta Bhakta Vinda Ki Jai Jai Hari Nam Sankritan Ki Jai Jai हरि हरि बोल जय श्री अनिका जी प्रीति जी विक्रम जी एंड फैमिली की जय और डिवाइन पैनलिस्ट श्रीपाद चिन्मय देव प्रभु एंड श्रीपाद अरुण कृष्णा प्रभु की जय नंद रानी दीदी की जय प्रीति जी हो गए प्रीति रामानंद जी की जय all the assembled devotees ki jai, all the Facebook devotees ki jai, jai Shila Bhakti Pavan Janardhan Maharaj ki jai, jai Shila Bhakti Nirmal Acharya Maharaj ki jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Acharya Brindh ki jai, Vishwarenya Shila AC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada ki jai, Nittai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo. सेमन जयराम प्रभु की जय अनिल जी की जय दीदी की जय जय अनिका दीदी की जय ओल्ड डिवोटीज